Every fall, uh, usually in September, sometimes in August, late August, we have this event called the clinic. Oh, we'll fix these for you. Somebody who's interested in ethnographic objects conservation could do these as a paper project and they'd be so happy about that. And uh, that is an opportunity for private owners, small museums, historical societies, really anyone with um, artwork. Um, this is something that um, my family got. To make an appointment in advance and bring in uh, their, their artwork and have us assess it. They're just the usual vocabulary of that type of carving. This is what's called traction crackle or drying cracks. We're looking for projects that will teach students particular things. Yeah, that's the seam line between the two halves of the mold. The thicker the paint, the, when it is cracked, the more it will lift up like that. Things that are extremely complicated and take a huge amount of time uh, wouldn't be useful. There's five in this bundle. And then how many are in those bundles? I'm afraid to ask. This is really fragile. And we also don't want a project that is so minimal that the student doesn't learn things. So we're looking for something that's we broke. See this indentation. But not too broke. Yikes. There's a, an outer kind of horny um, skin on rattlesnakes. Also something that would look good in a student, one of our students' portfolios. We think this is a self-portrait. I've never seen his image. Holy mackerel. I definitely want to take this picture. And this was done by William Wicks during his training period as an architectural student, I think at Cornell. So it dates from 1880s or maybe a little earlier. It had everything wrong with it you could possibly can go wrong with a paper-based work. It was essentially unusable. So I took it to the Art Conservation Department and they agreed to take it on. And we're looking for something that the student can successfully finish. All of these leaves have been carefully placed in mylar um, with a beautiful post binding so that if, a, if something goes wrong with the page, you can disassemble it, replace that page, put it back in. And successfully make a difference in the way it looks to please both the client and the student. Uh, here's a custom clamshell box or enclosure that she made. Well, I basically burst into tears. It was. Um, profoundly moving.